So, it's been a while since I've done a Q&A. Two years to be exact. So, I had this idea that I would take that Q&A and revamp it and see if anything has changed in the past two years. So, let's get on with the Q&A. So, the first question is, how long have I been drying my eyebrows? Um, well... I think I started when I was 15 and maybe quite a couple of years, I guess. Uh, not too sure. I haven't really been thinking about it. I've just been drawing them on. Uh, have you been... Have you found the right ship for your eyebrows? Uh, nope. They change all the time. What sort of eyebrow shape looks good on me? An eyebrow that looks like an eyebrow, basically. If it doesn't look good, then I'm just like, I guess I'm having a bad makeup day. Favorite items of clothing? Well, I've been literally living in onesies. I'm wearing one right now. You just can't see because I put this raven shirt on. And, um, just anything black and anything in this moment to be honest. I got a new scarf actually. Just go and get the scarf. So, this scarf is from their winter collection and I ordered it like early December and it has their name, well the band name on one side. And then on the other side it has the Blood Legion symbol and these like snowflake things I think and it's got these really nice tassely parts at the bottom and my favorite colors at the moment are like red and black I don't know if you've been on my channel long enough to know but I think I've been obsessed with red and black for a couple years now I'm always dyeing my hair well trying at least to dye my hair red and black but red never stays in the other half so I'm just like fuck it yeah th this one is a pretty good question piercings and tattoos and where so Nothing's really changed piercing wise. I've not got like more of. I may have lost at least one. Like the top one that I pierced here, that one didn't heal all the way through, so I just took it out. But I still have the second one that I pierced myself. This one right here. Then I still have my seconds done. This is up to 10 millimeters now, and I've had that like for 10 millimeters for a couple of years also. The same on this side, just first and seconds done. Obviously, my snake bikes are still here. And funny story, actually, Alpha Donis wanted me to take them out, and I was just like, "Yeah, that's not going to happen." There was like, "Oh, it's going to cause a lot of stuff," and I was just like, "No, I'm not taking them out. They're staying in." But luckily, I'm getting my braces off in a couple of days, so. That flew by quickly, and if as you you probably already know from the past Q and A where these questions are from, I also have my belly button pierced. But I'm not getting my belly button out on camera. And the new rendition to all this tattoos and piercings, I actually do have a tattoo right now, and it's on my wrist. It's a cute little flower, flower my mum, and it costs about like 15 pounds and. I actually drew this up myself and the mum part, I want it to be purple because it's her favourite colours and I really like the idea of having like greens and yellows and blues all mixed together. And the pin, I'd say it was like a four, it was not that painful I think. I got it like last summer I think. Do I like horror movies and which one is my favourite? Of course I like horror movies and my favourite one right now is called Some Kind of Hit. I'll probably put a link in the description and if not it's probably because I can't find it. I would actually have it on DVD right now so I can't show you. But it is it's an alright horror movie, it's just more interesting instead of horror if you know what I mean because in this day and age there isn't that many horrors that can like make me like scared out of my wits and want to hide behind a cover. 
opinion of Kat Von D. Huh. Well, I love Kat Von D. I used to watch uh, her show when she was doing LA Inc. And that was, it was like my favorite show. And then obviously it got canceled, but I'm also in love with her makeup line. And at the moment, I think I've only got one Studded Kiss lipstick. I'd go get it, but I have no idea where it is at the moment. And I would love to try her pastel goth palette and the shade and light palette. That one seems good and the foundations and stuff but because I'm in the UK we have to wait until the Sephora gets built over here and then I will go over there and try out the makeup and then I will enjoy it because it's Kat Von D. I love Kat Von D. Mm. Who is my best friend? Mm. Well my best friend is Emily Penny and she is actually on YouTube and I'm hoping that she does start doing YouTube because then we can collab. What do I like about her? Um, I love her. She's just amazing. She's really funny. She's upbeat. And she's always there when I'm feeling down and vice versa. And you know where you want to go to find her channel. I will link it down below. And thanks everybody for coming to watch this Q&A. I love you so, so much. And I'll see you on the next video.